Right, so in this screencast I will demonstrate creating a new profile for Papyrus. Um, the profile I'm going to develop will extend the CSML profile and in particular it will introduce a new stereotype that extends the requirement stereotype with a new flag uh, called verified so that eventually we can get an extended requirements table that has this additional column uh, called verified uh, which is a, a, a checkbox. Right, so I will start simple, I will start by defining the profile first. So to do this I need to create a new papyrus project, uh, profile project and call it, uh, give it a name. So I will call my profile requirements plus. Next, I need a profile diagram. Finish. So here's the diagram of my profile. <clears throat> I will rename this uh, to requirements plus, which is the name of my of my profile. Right, and I will add my. Uh, stereotype which is called requirement plus but as i said I, I don't want to develop a standalone profile i want the profile to extend uh, csml so i need to bring in uh, csml the way to do that is to right click at the root of the model explorer and go um, import, import registered profile and then I can select CSML from here and I will only select its requirements profile. Okay, so now I can see my, I can see the requirements profile from CSML here and if I scroll down I'll find requirement which I can drag and drop here and then have a generalization between requirement plus and requirement. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to create this uh, this additional property. And uh, I create the property and then go to the properties view and set its name to verified. And then its type to boolean. boolean. Okay, so every time I change my profile, uh, Papyrus picks this up and uh, upgrades the version of the of the profile. So it started with uh, uh, 0, 0, 0, 001, now it's 0, 0, 002, and every time I, I change my profile, it will pick up the change and uh, and upgrade the, the version. That's that's nothing to, to worry about. Fine. Okay, so now I have my profile. The question is how can I create a model that makes use of this profile? So that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. So I will close this, this model, right? And I will create a new UML project, a new, again, Papyrus project. But this time I'm not creating a profile, I'm just creating a standard UML model. Actually, uh, since I'm extending CSML, I will create a CSML model. So I'm creating a CSML model, which I will call demo. And then I want that CSML model to have a requirement diagram and a requirement table. Click uh, finish here. Fine. So I want to use my profile, um, the, the one that contain, contains this requirement plus stereotype. So the first thing to do is to go to profile here are the profiles that are already applied and I want to add a new one. Now, because the profile I'm adding lives in the same workspace, so it's this one, it lives in the same workspace as my model, I will click this plus button. So if I do that, then I can see the project containing my profile, I can select the UML file that contains my profile and then uh, click on this 
button here to move it to the right side and then click OK and select my um, profile. OK, so this means that now I can go here, for instance, and create a requirement. Right? And this is a CSML requirement, but what I want is I want a requirement that also contains this extra verified um, flag that I defined in, in my profile. So I will go to the applied stereotypes of this requirement and I will remove the CSML requirement stereotype and I will add this requirement plus stereotype that I defined. Okay? And now it means that I can go to this verified and say set this to true. Right. Now if I go to my requirements table, I want this uh, verified, this new property to also appear on the table. So I can right click, go columns, create destroy columns. And then here is the verified uh, column. So I can move to the visible columns and I get this, this checkbox over here. 